Hello everyone, welcome back to Neo IAS. In today's video, we'll discuss another previous question, and this question was asked in 2019. The question is regarding dew drops. Why are dew drops not formed on a cloudy night? So in this video, we'll discuss it regarding dew drops and their formation, as well as we'll discuss what's happening during a cloudy night. To know more about our courses. Log on to new IAS and go to the our courses tab and you can check out whichever course you want you can read the description and you will get all the details regarding the course now you can also watch the free demo classes regarding these courses now if you like these courses you can purchase them using the take this course tab and you can do the payment even you using UPI once the payment is done, you will get the instant access and you can watch all these videos online itself. This is a conceptual question with interlinking dew drops and cloudy night. First of all, let's discuss what is this dew drops. Dew drops, you can find them on early morning like this on grasses or leaves or even if you park a vehicle outside. When you come back on the early morning, you can find water droplets on their seat and on the general surface this water droplet is called as dew drop now dew drop they form during the early morning because during early morning the temperature would be reduced during this uh, like in ever since the afternoon there the insulation will be less insulation in the sense the sunlight coming from coming from the sun would be less so during this time Starting with the night, the earth will start to cool down using or by giving out the terrestrial radiation. Terrestrial radiation means the heat given out by the earth. Terrestrial, the word is related with earth. So the heat given out by the earth, this will reduce the temperature on earth. With this reduced temperature, the dew would be formed. Now this dew formation is given in climatology atmospheric moisture chapter and atmospheric moisture this dew drop is being given as a form of condensation right condensation the basic term condensation means water vapor converted converting to water droplet liquid water droplet okay liquid water so it is same as that of the clouds clouds are taking place in the upper atmosphere and they need the dust particles but here dew drop they need the grasslands or the grasses or leaf or any general surface right so the water vapor water vapor will come to this area where the, when the temperature is lowered they will stick on this area and they will condense right then it, they will form the liquid water droplet now when condensation is taking place the temperature would be more than the freezing point Freezing point means 0 degree Celsius. So what I just said is, if the temperature is say 10 degree Celsius, the liquid droplet, the dew drop would be formed. If it is 20 degree Celsius also, the liquid droplet will form, right? But if the temperature is minus 5 degree Celsius, below 0 degree Celsius, then instead of the water droplet, frost will form. Frost, ice crystal will form. These are all different forms of condensation dew frost fog cloud these are all different forms of condensation anyway this is a concept regarding dew drop i'll just repeat the most important things dew drops they are water droplets the condensation is taking place and the temperature should be above freezing point like should be above zero degree celsius and for this condensation to take place there should be a surface like grass leaf or any like you know the vehicle or any general surface has to be there now you must have experienced this when you are walking barefoot uh, during the early morning from the meadows or the grasslands or the general plants in your at your backyard you will be able to see the water droplets there they are nothing but the dew drop okay so this is the concept regarding the dew drop now let's take a look at what's happening during the cloudy night okay so this clouds, clouds during, I mean if you have observed this, if we have a cloudy night and it is not raining during that night, the temperature or it will, will feel more warmer. Have you ever observed it? Please comment uh, in the section below, right? Please give it a comment whether you have observed it or not. 
what i said is it is cloudy evening it is cloudy or night it is cloudy but it is not raining and that day it will be more warmer so cloudy nights they are warmer generally the cloudy nights they are warmer except opposite during day time the clouds would reduce the temperature for example during day time if we have clouds like this the incoming sunlight would be reflected by the top portion of the clouds okay but during night time the clouds will reflect back the heat given off by the earth the terrestrial radiation given off by the earth would be reflected back by the clouds so this is why during cloudy nights we feel warmer to some extent you can say the clouds are having greenhouse gas effect now for keeping this in mind uh, a previous question comes to my mind recently they asked a question regarding uh, cirrus cloud thinning it was a science and tech a current affair question asked by upsc for the prelims they asked in which context you i'm just paraphrasing okay i don't have the question with me right now in which context you will see cirrus cloud thinning in news to reduce the global warming right so using the cloud seeding they will reduce the thickness the thickness of this cloud so that the terrestrial radiation would escape the earth okay so coming back to the topic so in this image you can see one condition there are no clouds it means the temperature is a minus 4 degree celsius suppose then there are partially cloudy so some of the terrestrial radiation would escape the temperature would be bit more than the previous case but if it is cloudy completely cloudy we would feel warmer because the clouds they will reflect back the terrestrial radiation given off by the earth okay so the concept you have to remember is cloudy nights would be warmer cloudy nights would be warmer now all these concepts the climatology related concepts they are very interrelated so it is very important that you understand a proper or you maintain a proper connection between the concepts then only you would be able to answer such previous questions interlinking dew drop and the cloudy nights okay and the cloudy nights a previous question like a way before i think 2004 or 5 they had asked so they repeated those options as well so in our course we'll be covering the basic concepts from the very basic level to the level of the upsc which you need so if whether you are a beginner or whether you are a veteran you would be benefit benefited from this course now we here are introducing focus prelims geography which would be covering all the previous question from 95 all the way up to 2020 and the basic ncerts the gc leon would be covered along with this course right so the, you would be having strong basics after watching this class so if interested the course is the link given in the description below please check out the course from our website please join the course and build strong foundation regarding these topics so that you will be able to answer the such questions which we have discussed anyway let's talk about the answer of this question and let's see how you could answer this question so why are the dew drops not formed on a cloudy night so the foremost thing in this question you have to notice this note so they are saying dew drops are not forming on cloudy night so for dew to form the temperature should be lowered the temperature should be lowered right so think about this one quick example if you are boiling a cup of water after boiling the water we are closing the lid over it then after one hour when we come back and when we take the lid we will be able to see the water droplets on the surface where did that water droplet come from when we left the vessel there the temperature got lowered when the temperature is reduced right the water vapor will turn to water droplet same as that of the fog it's a real life example you can relate to okay so temperature should be lowered then only the water droplet can form right if the temperature is higher the dew drop will not form that is how the or that is the reason why dew drops are not formed on a cloudy night okay so let's go through the options first of all in this a b c d kind of question there would always be illogical statements if you know if your concept is clear 
if you know the basics you would be able to eliminate those questions at least two statements you would be able to eliminate and you can increase your probability okay so here the first statement clouds absorb the radiation released from the earth's surface they are saying clouds are absorbing now what are clouds made up of clouds are made up of water droplet right water vapor converted to liquid water liquid water water droplet now if water droplet absorbs the absorbs the the radiation given by the earth the it is absorbing the heat it would again become water vapor so you have to understand that the clouds are not absorbing the radiation and doesn't have anything to do with the dew so this is an illogical statement and you can eliminate it clouds cannot absorb the radiation because clouds are water droplet okay then clouds reflect back the radi back the earth's radiation this is the true statement here since the clouds reflect back the radiation it would be more warmer during night it would be warmer and thereby the dew is not dew will not form that's the right answer but let's see how we can eliminate the other statements option c the earth surface would have low temperature on a cloudy nights now this question right this concept there's a complete previous question based on this concept okay the earth surface would have they have said in a previous question the cloudy nights are warmer than clear cloudless night i don't have the question here with me if you want you can search and you will get that question cloudy nights are warmer then clear cloudless nights please search this statement in google and you will get the question so cloudy nights are warmer because they are reflecting back the terrestrial radiation right here they have used the word low so this also this statement is a conceptual statement this also needs thorough understanding the third one clouds deflect the blowing wind to the ground level think about this clouds which are floating on the atmosphere due to their low density they are saying clouds are deflecting the blowing winds to the ground level think about how absurd it is when the wind is blowing the cloud will only move along with it okay so as i told you earlier there would be illogical statement in this question you can eliminate the option a as well as option d can be eliminated before because they are illogical statement so the real choice you have to do between the option b and option c right so option c this should be high then the this option c should have been right okay so here the right answer is option b